In this tutorial, we're going to learn to create interactive software simulations using Articulate Storyline. In our earlier tutorial on screencast videos, we recorded a video where we inserted a shape in PowerPoint and animated that. And that's what we see here on the screen. This is the video on the slide. Now let's say I have this and my customer says, well, I don't want the video anymore. What I really want is the interactivity. So I want them to click through the PowerPoint like they would if it was real life. So what we could do is re-record it, but that would be a lot of extra work. In the Storyline, we don't need to do that because if we go to the Insert tab, you'll notice under the Record screen, when I click the drop-down arrow, it's going to show me what screencast videos I have. In this case, this is that PowerPoint animation, and I can see that it's in use. Now what I could do is just click on this. It opens up the Insert Slides window, and then Previously, we inserted it as a video. Now we're going to insert it as a step-by-step -step slide. And so you notice you've got three modes. So you've got the view mode where somebody can follow along. You've got a try mode where they can actually try it. And then you have a test mode where they you can test their ability to do certain tasks. We're just going to insert a try mode. Now the difference between video and the step-by-step -step slides. If you do video, it's gonna it's just a movie of what you did, so it's a single video on a slide. The step-by-step -step mode, what that does is it breaks down your video into a series of slides based on what you did on the screen. So for every interaction you have on the screen, it creates a slide. So let's see what happens. We're going to insert this as a try mode. We'll keep it in a new scene. We'll hit insert. And now what we can see here is that we have a scene with a series of slides. So if we look at story view, when we insert it as a video, you just get a single slide with the video on it. When you insert it in one of those software simulation modes, uh, you're going to get a series of slides. So let's preview this and see what it looks like. So we'll select the scene. We'll preview the scene. First thing you'll notice is that Storyline created a slide title for every interaction that you had on the screen. So this comes in handy if you want to make the menu available that the person can follow along. They can kind of see what they're supposed to do. Now in this case, we're supposed to click on the Insert tab. So I can do that here. You can see it, it built my prompts. And then I can click. I can click. And here in this case, it has to record a video and insert that since I can't do a click and drag. And then I'm going to click on the Animations tab, and you can see I can go through here. So it's giving me the prompts and everything I need to do to be able to follow along and practice that particular activity. I even have the text entry, so if I come here, I have to type in 3 and hit Enter. And then you can see I've got that. So you can interact with the screen. It records the clicking, and it records the data entry as well. So let's look at the slides and see how they're made. And when you come on the slide, you can see it's constructed like any other slide in Storyline. You've got slide triggers, you've got your slide layers, and you have your timeline and states. In this case, Storyline created a hotspot where you're supposed to click. And then you can see there's some triggers. And it also created your captions and feedback boxes. If you want to change your captions, you can select those. You've got your formatting options like any other shape. If you want to change them universally, you can go to your Design tab. And then you can change your color schemes. You can see you also have the ability to create your own color schemes. Let's go look at the triggers here. You'll notice that the hotspot here has a trigger called Play Media Screen Recording Action when the user clicks. You think that when you click this, it's actually going to go to the next slide. But it's not going to the next slide. Instead, it's playing this little media file. And then once the media file is complete, it's going to jump to the next slide. A lot of times when you record software applications, there's a smooth transition. So for example, let's, let's actually preview this scene and we can see how that works. So we're on this first slide and we're going to click on this insert. But you'll notice that it doesn't just jump. There's going to be this smooth transition that hopefully is carried over in recording this tutorial. So when I click on this, you can see there was a subtle animated effect that transitioned from the lighter gray here. See, you can see how it works to the darker gray. 
So that's a little animation. So instead of just jumping from one slide to the next, we actually insert that as a little animation to create a more realistic effect for you. So when you look at your triggers and you're trying to figure out what that is, that's what's happening. So it's got this little screen animation that when you click it, it's going to trigger that animation that's part of our video and then it takes you to the next screen. So you've got a nice smooth transition. And that's basically it in terms of uh, taking your video that you record and inserting it as a software simulation. Now you will notice that sometimes when you record videos, uh, you get artifacts. And so in the next video, we're actually going to show you how to edit and fine tune uh, these videos so you get a really nice professional looking product.